గవర్నర్ ఆఫ్ తమిళనాడు శ్రీ ఆర్ఎన్ రవిజీ చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ ఆఫ్ తమిళనాడు శ్రీ ఎం కె స్టాలిన్జీ యూనియన్ మినిస్టర్ శ్రీ ఎల్ మురుగన్జీ ఆదర్ మినిస్టర్స్ అండ్ డిగ్నిటరీస్ వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ ఆఫ్ అన్నా యూనివర్సిటీ డాక్టర్ ఆర్ వెల్రాజ్జి మై యంగ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ దర్ పేరెంట్స్ అండ్ టీచర్స్ అనే వరకం వణక్కం ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ టు ఆల్ దోస్ హూ ఆర్ గ్రాజ్యుయేటింగ్ టుడే ఇన్ ద అన్నా యూనివర్సిటీస్ forty second convocation you would have already built a future of yourself in your minds therefore today is not only a day of achievements but also of aspirations i wish that all the dreams of our youth come true this is also a special time for teaching staff and non teaching staff support staff at anna university you are nation builders who are creating the leaders of tomorrow you have i have seen many batches come and go but each batch is unique they leave their own set of memories i specifically raise the parents of those who are graduating today your sacrifices have been crucial your child's achievement today we are here to celebrate the achievements of our youth in the vibrant city of chennai in february 1897 125 years ago swami vivekanand spoke to the madras times he was asked about his plan for the future of india he said and i quote my faith is in the younger generation the modern generation out of them will come my workers they will work out the whole problem like lions unquote those words are still relevant but this time it is not only india that is looking towards its youths the whole world is looking at india's youth with hope because you are the growth engines of the country and india is the world's growth engine it is a great honor it is also a great responsibility which i am sure you will excel in friends when speaking of faith in our youth how can we forget bharat ratna former president dr apj abdul kalam i am sure that it is a matter of pride for everyone in the anna university that dr kalam was closely associated with this university i have heard that the room he stayed in has been converted into a memorial may his thoughts and values inspire our youth 
we are graduating in unique times. Some would call it a time of global uncertainty, but I would call it a time of great opportunity. The COVID-19 pandemic was an unprecedented event. It was once in a century crisis that nobody had an user manual for. It tested every country. As you know, adversities reveal what we are made of. India faced the unknown confidently thanks to its scientists, healthcare workers, professionals and common people. As a result, today every sector in India is bursting with new life. Whether it is industry, innovation, investment or international trade, India at the forefront. Our industry has risen to the occasion. For example, it is electronic manufacturing. In the last year, India was the world's la second largest mobile phone manufacturer. <laughs> Innovation is becoming a way of life. In just the last six years, the number of recognized startups increased by 15,000 <laughs> percent. Yes, you heard that right, 15,000 percent. From just 417 in 2016, it is nearly 73,000 now. When industry and innovation do well, investments follow. Last year, India received a record FDI of over $83 billion. Our startups too received record funding post-pandemic. Above all this, India's position in the international trade dynamics is at its best ever. Our country recorded the highest ever exports of goods and services. We expected food grain at a crucial time for the world. We recently signed a trade deal with UAE to our west and with Australia to our east. India is becoming a vital link in global supply chains. We have the chance to make the greatest impact now as India is converting obstacles into opportunities. <laughs> Friends, most of you have studied in the teams related to engineering or technology. In this era of tech-led disruptions, there are three important factors in your favor. The first factor if there is a test of for technology, there is a growing sense of comfort with the use of technology. Even the poorest of the poor are adapting to it. Farmers use apps to get information about markets, weather and prices. Homemakers are using technology to make their lives easier. Children are learning using technology. Small vendors 
are using digital payments if you give them cash some of them will will actually tell you they prefer digital india is the world leader in digital payments and fintech a huge market for technological innovations is waiting for you to do your magic the second factor is there is trust in risk takers earlier at social occasions it was difficult for a youngster to say he or she was an entrepreneur people used to tell them to get settled meaning get a salaried job now the situation is opposite people ask whether you have tried to start something on your own even if one is working in a job it is seen a closer to work for startups the rise of risk takers means two things for you you can take risks on your own or you can build upon the opportunities created by others the third factor there is temperament for reform earlier there was a notion that a strong government means it should control everything and everyone but we have changed this a strong government does not control everything or everyone it controls the systems impulse to interfere a strong government is not restrictive but is responsive a strong government does not move into every domain it limits itself and makes space for people's talent a strong government strength lies in its humility to accept that it cannot know or do everything this is why you see reforms in every sphere that make greater space for the people and their freedom the new national greater freedom for youth to take decisions according to evolving situations the scrapping of nearly 25000 compliances is boosting ease of living removal of angel tax removal of retrospective tax and reduction of corporate tax are encouraging investments and industry the reforms in drones space and geospatial sectors are opening up new avenues reforms in the infrastructure sector through pm gati shakti master plan are creating world class infrastructure at speed and scale that is test for technology trust in the risk takers temperament for freedom from for reform all these factors are creating a platform for you where opportunities are created sustained and grown friends the next 25 years are crucial for both you it is the amrit kal leading up to the 100 year of independence we are lucky that many young people like you will build their own future as well as india's so your growth 
is India's growth. Your learnings are India's learning. Your victory is India's victory. So when you make your plans for yourself and your family, remember that you are automatically making plans for India too. It is a historic opportunity that only your generation has. Take it and make the best out of it. Once again, congratulations and all the best. Thank you.